Hi, welcome to my channel. Today, shh, today I'd like to share with you the process uh, that we went through building our homestead pantry. Let's get started with cleaning everything out. Okay, so I just finished taking down this rack over here and I got everything sanded and filled. And I got the freezer out as well. And this is kind of what we are working with for this pantry project. I still have to remove the couple pieces of baseboard that are left. Uh, come the spring, we're replacing the floors anyway, so I figure I might as well uh, get them out of here. And I also need to we need to sand and paint. Um, I need to remove all the stuff that is up there and I think I'm gonna do um, a better situation for shelving on that one, maybe put two shelves instead of one. And so my overall plan here is to have the deep freeze sit right here because I'd like to put a counter above it right here where I can put all my appliances like my mixer and whatnot. Uh, that way it's out of the way, out of the main part of the kitchen. And I'd like to put my deep freeze under it. That way um, I can and, and put it on caster wheels and put a handle on it. That way I can pull it out and open it when I need to and get into it because the way we had it currently, it became a catch-all for everything. And it was a little difficult to get into it and get the food that you needed when we had a bunch of stuff on top of it. So I figure if I build a counter space on top of it and make it to where I can't put anything on top of the freezer, then that should solve that problem. And after that, I would like to put shelves spanning across this whole area right here, all the way up that accommodate all of my canning jars that I have. That way I can fit as many canning jars as I will probably ever want to have in my pantry. And then I'm thinking about doing a spice rack over on this shelf. So um, I'll also need to get a piece of drywall and patch this hole right here. That is a dryer vent hole. Uh, this pantry used to be the laundry room. So I'll have to get some drywall and patch that up before we get going on putting shelves in too. Several long days later. Okay, so here's our progress so far for tonight. We've got one shelf up and level, and then we will have four more to space up along here. And uh, right now we are trying to finish putting some frames together so that we can put them up and get rid of all of this mess. Pretty bad, isn't it, huh? Yeah. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so it is, what, not almost 9.30, and we are finally finished with all of the framing for the shelves. So tomorrow we'll have to cut the boards for these and get them all sanded down so we can stain and then finally be done. How do you feel right now? Ugh. <laughs> it's it's been kind of a long project. <sighs> what do you think, Bingy? Hi. She's been very interested in this whole process. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, so it is now Tuesday night. This project has taken a lot longer than I had planned for it. And oh, for since Saturday, I mean, we have just been going, going, going. I work, come home, work on this, go to bed, get up, go to work. And we are finally at the point where we have the first board on and stained. All of the rest of the boards are cut and stained and dried. They dried last night. So I am going to go ahead and condition and stain these frames, which I 
went back and forth on whether I wanted to do that. And I thought, you know, I've spent enough time on this project already. I might as well spend some more time, you know, for something that I'm really excited about. I should do it right the first time. So uh, I know if I, once I get it all put together, it, you know, I'm in here messing with my cans or whatever and stocking my pantry, I'll know that this is raw underneath. And when I go to grab stuff, I'll be able to see that this is raw and not stained and I know it'll bug me. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this done while Dawson's at the store. And then when he gets back, he's gonna help me get these boards up and nailed in. And then hopefully later tonight, once we get them nailed in, I can start stocking it. So excited for that. And it was about here that I realized I should have stained this before I hung it. But what are you going to do? Oh, eventually, I'll be putting face plates right here, but I'm not going to do it tonight. Um, I don't have enough wood for that. I originally was going to make face plates out of the same plywood that I made the shelves and have them meet at a 45 degree angle here so there's a nice edge. But the only tools tool that I have for cutting is a circular saw. Um, that was the most affordable for us and I learned very quickly through this project that although a circular saw can cut a 45 degree angle it was really difficult to cut down a large four, four foot by eight foot piece of plywood board straight. Um, like my clamp wouldn't, cl I, I was trying to use a straight edge, but my clamp kept getting in the way of it. And also we don't have saw horses, so we were just using stools. And we only have two stools. It would have been better if we had like three or four to set it up on. So we were working with limited means and the edges that I cut are kind of iffy. So we're going to turn them around and use the flush edge. And I'm just going to make, uh, I'm going to get some different wood and have a nice solid wood face plate for all of these. So all of that to say, I'm going to stain these for now, the front part, but that is not how it'll permanently stay. So, uh, I guess my recommendation, or at least what I'm going to do from here on out, is if I'm working with a circular saw, I'm not going to account for any 45 degree angles with anything unless I'm able to, like it's a smaller piece of wood and I'm able to get a good clamp around it to hold it in place, hold my straight edge in place. So I'm going to stop talking and get to staining because at this point, I'm just stalling, so I need a paintbrush. All right, here is the finished pantry. I did sew a curtain over here to cover up the water heater and also to cover up the fact that I was not able to paint all the way back behind the water heater. For the deep freeze, uh, I was going to put it on casters and build like a platform with wheels so it could slide out. It actually slides out perfectly to where I can open it still in the pantry and it's not it doesn't get interfered with that um pipe right there but my father-in-law actually had a really good idea to put this on some furniture movers like those sliders that way i don't have to fuss with caster wheels and a platform i can just keep it on the sliders and pull it in and out whenever i want also there are a couple 
of little things in general that I would like to do to update it even further in the future, but as far as my budget goes for this project, I have used it all. So what I'd like to do in the future is put some like really nice wood face plates over this and um, stain it the same color. That way it like, you can't tell that it's made out of plywood and uh, that way you won't be able, be able to see any of the unfinished edges. It'll just look really nice and cohesive. I also really want to build a spice rack here and this one works for right now. I mean, it does a great job, but I really would like to build something that is um, specific dimensions to where I could fit a certain number of like mason jars, like whether they're regular pints or quarts, I haven't decided yet, or maybe accommodate it so I could fit both but I would like to build a custom spice rack to go here eventually too. So I could do a pantry tour here soon if anybody is interested and I can kind of just go over like the buckets, what I keep in the buckets and how I manage uh, organization with a pantry like this where the shelves are quite this deep because I knew when I built this pantry that that would be something I'd have to kind of get over and figure out. I knew I could, but I, I knew I'd have to figure out a solution for the fact that the shelves are so deep and you're going to want to be able to see everything that you have laid out in front of you. So if anybody is interested in that, just let me know in the comments below and I can do a video on that as well. I am really happy with how it turned out.